Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create regenerating feedback delays in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a guitar, and I cut it up so I could use it to create delays. Let's hear it. So let's add a delay to the guitar. We'll create a new track. We'll name it Delay. Let's give it a color, something like this. And let's add a delay to the track effects on this track right here. I'm going to keep it simple and use the Reaper delay right here, read a delay. Then I'm going to set it with the dry turned off and the wet full up. We'll change the length to be an eighth note. And then we're going to send from the guitar track to the delay track just by grabbing in the routing and dropping it on this track. And that creates this send. I'm going to change it from a stereo send to a mono send, which is really important to make this effect work because we want to pan the delay left and right. And if we leave this as a stereo send, it's not going to work. Let's bring it down a bit to about minus five. Now we should have delay on the guitar track. And we do. Now to create regeneration feedback, we want the delay to repeat and get more and more affected. So if we just add the feedback right here, even if we had a filter over here, all those repeats are just filtered once. To create this effect the right way, we want each repeated delay to be run through the filter repeatedly each time. So the effect is multiplied. So we can't do it with one plugin. So let's put this back to normal, turn off the feedback, and instead, let's add a filter to this track or an EQ. I'm going to use the Reaper EQ right here, Re EQ. We're going to remove all the bands except for one. And let's start off with a low pass filter. And we'll put it before the delay. And let's try to create a nice filtered sound. Sounds pretty good right there. And this is the effect we want to regenerate on each repeat of our delay. So now we're going to copy this track and then paste it. And we'll pan the first one to the left and the second one to the right. And then instead of sending the guitar to the second delay, we'll send the first delay to the second delay. Create a send right here. Once again, we'll make it a mono send. Bring it down to about five. And now we should have a stereo delay that repeats the filter or regenerates it on each delay. So it should double the effect on the second delay. Let's solo the guitar. So the guitar on the right has this EQ twice. Let's float it so we can see it better. Here's the left one, and here's the right one. We can adjust the effect right from here. But you notice it's only repeating once. We want it to repeat many times. So we can regenerate the feedback by sending the second delay back to the first delay, which is going to basically create a feedback loop. So if we do that, by creating a send from here to here, make it a mono send about 5 dB. But watch what happens. The delay disappears. Because by default, Reaper is protecting us by not allowing us to create a feedback loop. But we could bypass that with the project settings. Let's go to the file menu and choose 
Project Settings. Then we'll go to the Advanced tab and turn on Allow Feedback in Routing. Now you want to be careful with this because you can very easily create a feedback loop that gets too loud. So we want to protect our speakers. So we should go to our Preferences, under Mute Solo, and make sure this is turned on. Automatically mute any track if it goes above plus 18. And it'll reset itself on playback start. So this is going to protect our speakers. So now let's hear the effect we created. Where we send the guitar to the first delay, the first delay to the second delay, and the second delay back to the first delay, which is going to repeat over and over again, like this. Notice each repeat is regenerating from our filters. It runs through the filter on each delay, getting more and more affected. And again, we can readjust it right here to the setting we prefer. And we can adjust the feedback by how much boost is on this filter. If we hold down shift, we can bring it higher or lower. Let's make it a bit more subtle at 60. Notice it dissipates a bit quicker. Or we could do the opposite and bring it down to 40. And now it'll feed back longer. That's a bit too long. We could also adjust the feedback with our gain. But we could also change the filters to be high pass instead. And of course, we can change the delay time as well. Let's change this to 1.5 and do the same with the second one. And that's going to create this effect. We'll change it to two to create a quarter note delay. Now, besides doing this with a filter, we can also have it regenerate with different effects. Let's switch it from a filter to a chorus. Put it before the delay, copy it, go to the second one and paste it, put it before this delay. Now the chorus is gonna regenerate with a thicker effect on each delay. And it's also going to work with saturation, distortion, or one of my favorites, either a flanger or a phaser. Put this before the delay, copy it, 
delete this one and paste it and move it before this delay to create this effect. Where the phase gets thicker on each generation of a delay. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create regenerating feedback delays in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.